I'm not going to be the guy to give you that hopium because I believe that people should do whatever that's best for them. It's your boy Crypto Millie and every day I talk about crypto. Today I want to give a quick market update, right? I'm not going to get too deep into things because obviously we don't have any news. Everything will be depicted upon the presidential election. And of course, I've stated this before and you've seen multiple YouTubers say this. Um, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, uh, long term, who kind of like wins this election because crypto has proved that it's pumped regardless of what house wins now short term yes it does matter right you got trump currently according to poly marketing you if you go across like the media you'll see that poly market it seems to be a little bit more pro you know trump and i think that's because a lot of crypto people follow it but if you go to like the media polls it's a lot more closer than what poly market so it, it, you just don't know right and again salute to trump salute to miss harris i don't want to sway anybody i want people to go out there with their own mind their own thought process and go vote you know be that change you want to see but besides that guys i just want to make you feel a little bit more un understanding about what's happening right big this is bitcoin show right now right altcoins always lag four to eight weeks after we see a enormous pump from btc so at the end of the day don't expect your altcoins to pump when bitcoin pumps right expect some of your blue chips the strong ones within the uh narrative to pump when bitcoin pumps the stuff's like solana suez we we know tau you know what i mean the stuff jazz media these are stuff that has been strong throughout this whole um crypto cycle but again you can see how strong that BTC is holding up here. Um, ETH and a few of the, the, the blue chips. You're probably seeing your micro caps get, get wrecked. But that's part of the game, right? Um, there was a article put out here by Standard Chartered, um, October 2024th, um, 2024. And um, they pretty much gave their prediction of what they think. Now, so far, it's a little off. They say the Bitcoin price is likely to be around 73000 on election day election day is tomorrow right and we're at about six that we're about five thousand away so i don't know if we reach this but what i want you guys to focus on is this sentence here it says if republicans sweep congress our year end target level of btc will be one hundred and twenty-five thousand. can you imagine can you imagine your altcoins when bitcoin hits 125,000 and that bitcoin dominant starts to trickle down Altcoins probably will start to do pretty well. Um, so uh, if the Republican sweep Congress, our year end target level of USD, 125,000 should come into view. If Harris wins, we see Bitcoin initially trading lower, but still ending 2024 at fresh highs around 75,000. So it kind of goes to the thesis that I made in my video two days ago when I said, hey, if the election doesn't go how crypto people believe it should go, it's still not a far cry that Bitcoin can hit anywhere from 75 to 80,000 body years in, right? Of course, we'll get that uh, liquidation first as the market has to price in a Harris election. But again, you know, um, the, the, the crypto and Bitcoin has proved itself over the years that it just does it matter now taking a look at the btc chart here um the weekly close was where we needed to be right it you know it's very small you really can't see here um bitcoin is hitting the overbought levels but we know that it can hang out here for a while right so i wouldn't be surprised if we go to retest our trend line here at about sixty four thousand and kind of like continue our next leg up depicted upon the results of the election tomorrow right but i don't want anybody to get stirred up um i think that this is a chance if you need to consolidate your portfolio you probably see me put a little post out there on twitter um you know a few things that i uh, consolidated i moved around a few things i didn't really inject a lot of liquidity but i want to take advantage of the, the sort of the flash crash and if we have another one I'll take advantage of the flash crash, but I'm not putting a lot of liquidity because guys, you got to understand I've been buying crypto since over here, since it's been crashing. So I got a good, you know, um, good bit of skin in the game and it's not something where it's like I got to rush or I got to put together last minute. For the last minute people, I would focus on strength in the market, the narratives, especially of altcoins that you believe is going to be big, right? AI, meme coins, gaming, RWAs, that's kind of like been the best narrative and of course, the layer ones that you have that have the most strength, right? The ecosystem, the casinos, the Solanas, right? So with that being said, if you're just getting into crypto, 
you are a little bit late, right? But you still have an opportunity. This is the opportunity. This may be the last opportunity to really get your portfolio together, right? I've got a plethora, excuse me, um, of portfolio videos on my YouTube channel. Make sure you check them out. I'll try to tag one at the end if I can find a one that's the latest one, all right? So um, not too much concern here. The fear and greed index is still sitting around 70 and the Bitcoin dominance is severely overbought. So at some point, guys, we're going to see a giga red candle here and a lot of that liquidity and capital will roll into our altcoins coinciding with the Bitcoin season chart here where you're having an opportunity below this blue line, guys, to get in on your altcoins. Now, you probably wonder why I said I DCA. Well, because we're in Bitcoin season and every time we get below this blue line and I've stated this plenty of times. I'd like to add to my conviction plays, not the plays that I'm in short term. Hopefully they pump for the cycle. I'm talking about stuff that I have conviction in that I've been holding throughout the entire cycle. So, again, this is an opportunity, but uh, again, this, also, this also is an opportunity to do de-risk if you've been buying crypto. Because I always talk about if you're new getting into crypto. But, hey, if you've been buying crypto down here like myself then, hey, you can look at it this. Okay, we pumped back almost to all-time highs. I didn't de-risk here in this circle. Maybe it's time for me to take a little bit off the table. There's nothing wrong with that if you've been buying since here because you probably locked in massive profits. So, again, you have to be considerate of your exit strategy just as much as your entry points in crypto. All right, um, but that's it, guys. I don't really got anything for you outside of that. Of course, we'll be paying attention to the job market the housing market, the ETH BTC chart, total three chart, and things of that sort. In fact, the total three, you can see, is um, getting beat up, and we're below the trend line. And the stock RSI is trending to the downside. So it's a good chance that, unfortunately, you know, altcoins do come back down here. The total three could come back down here and retest maybe the 50-day moving average. I, I wouldn't want to see that, right? But there is a good chance that it come, could come back down to retest that. So just keep that in mind that we, we are above the trend line, but we broke our new trend line. And that could be of concern for your altcoins. But this just tells me, because I have a good, you know, knack, right? That maybe, maybe if we get a higher low here on the stock RSI, price going down, but we put in a higher low here, this could be, a bullish divergence right but we need the stock rsi to start curling around curling up around 50 so how it would look let me show you guys right here this is the total three chart so i want to show you guys exactly what i'm talking about let me reload it because i know what trading view you have to reload here um you can kind of like see this trend if we could put in a higher low here maybe the stock rsi comes down to retest 50 right but if it even retest 50 is still a higher low from here, which is a bullish divergence. Price going down, RSI trending to the upside, which tells me that there's still strength here. There is still strength here. The total market, though, the total market, you know, none of this matters. And, you know, salute to my boy Hall of Fame because I've never been the type to say, oh, I, I know everything, right? I, um, after further, like, doing research and looking into, you know, some of my uh, modules here, but this just was a beautiful point, right? Of course, we're not going to make any news in the crypto world unless the total breaks two point around two point six trillion, right? So we need to break this, right? We need to put in this V-shaped pattern and we need to break resistance here. And then once we break resistance, guess what happens? We break all time highs and then the total cryptocurrency market, you know, around three trillion is when it really gets into price discovery right so we got two levels of resistance we do have to break here let me put the green line here because once it breaks this green line which is about 2.8 trillion then crypto the whole entire space goes into price discovery and that's when i think that we'll start to see fomo retail hopping in going crazy because everybody loves to buy green candles and loves to buy the freaking top but guess what guys we've been loading up here We've been loading up here. So if you're still here, give yourself a pat on the back. I don't think this is the time now to just give up. Maybe you take a little bit off the table if you feel the need to. That's on you. But um, crypto doesn't really care about the election over time, right? Short term, it's going to matter. Short term is going to matter. But over time, we always seem to um, uplift and overcome. And, and that's one thing I like about crypto. Guys, I'm going to catch you in the... Um,
probably tomorrow. I ain't gonna do any more, more videos today. I got another video um, coming at, at about 1, 1.30. Um, we're gonna be up giving you an updated video on the Infaneon blockchain pre-sale, so be looking for that. But outside of that, I'll catch you tomorrow on Election Day. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.